When the first wave of COVID-19 hit Pakistan, chaos, rumors and myths started to erupt creating confusion and anxiety among people. Some called it a biological warfare, some claimed cure in home remedies, while some thought it was just a hoax. To counter this web of misinformation, Sadia Sattar, a broadcast journalist, decided to initiate a nationwide public awareness campaign called Infodemics and Pandemic to provide masses with authentic information through her morning show at FM 98. Sadia used the platform to fight out all the prevalent myths by encouraging people to rely on authentic information from experts and credible sources such as WHO and NIH. She educated people using the global guidelines of WHO related to COVID-19 response and adopted by the Ministry of National Health Services, Regulations and Coordination, Government of Pakistan. The ministry had published these guidelines on their official website translated into local languages for general public. She did a series of shows with various renowned health experts from all over the country. These doctors guided people about the COVID-19 symptoms, what to do if someone is suspected as a probable case, and when to go to hospital or to get tested. An important target of the campaign was to minimize the level of anxiety among masses and motivate them to cope well with the situation. For this purpose, she invited a psychologist to her show who talked about the coping mechanisms to deal with anxiety and fear. Sadia also discussed the ways and means on how one can stay busy and occupied at home while carrying out a healthy routine. While everyone had their own challenges, children and elderly people were perhaps the most adversely affected due to their restricted outdoor mobility and limited activities. Sadia catered to these two groups categorically. Pregnant women were amongst the most vulnerable groups during the pandemic. Sadia took several gynecologists on board who discussed that how the pandemic triggered mood swings, uncertainty, pre- and postnatal depression amongst pregnant women. Their regular checkups and vaccinations were also delayed. So they were informed through the radio show about doctors who were available voluntarily on free helplines to assist pregnant women. Sadia believes that catastrophes are bound to happen. But on various occasions, we have witnessed that Pakistan is a country of resilient nation, where people stand up for each other in testing times, and we shall continue our legacy during this pandemic too.